Hi, welcome to bakingmad.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really indulgent chocolate brownie. So you want to begin by preheating your oven to 190 degrees Celsius or 170 degrees Celsius if you are using a fan oven. You then want to take a 20 centimetre square baking tin and lightly grease and line with some baking paper. You then want to keep that to one side for when your mixture is ready. Firstly, what you want to do is take 350 grams of dark chocolate and mix that together with 200 grams of butter. So you just pop that all in one bowl. So what you want to do is melt this gently over a pan of simmering water until it melts and it's nice and glossy, ready to be mixed with your cake mixture. Right, as you can see, the chocolate is all nicely melted. It's got a lovely sheen to it. So what we're going to do with this one is just pop it on the side whilst we're making the cake mixture. To make the cake mixture, we're going to take three eggs, which I've already pre-cracked into this bowl. And just pop them into the food mixer. You'll then want to mix the eggs together until they're really light and fluffy before you add the other ingredients. This will probably take a couple of minutes and you want to mix it on quite a high speed. So, as you can see from this, it's a lovely, pale, fluffy mixture that the eggs created by being whisked together. So what we're going to do to that is add in 250 grams of the dark muscovado sugar. This will give a real rich flavour to your brownie and a really lovely texture. So we're just going to take the sugar, put it straight into the bowl and then mix again on a high speed just to mix everything together. The, the muscovado sugar might be a little bit lumpy, so this will just break it up and make sure it's evenly distributed. Now that the sugar's all mixed in, what we want to take, do is take our chocolate, spoon that in, and again, mix it all together before we finish off by adding the flour. So we just carefully pour this in. And it's ready to be mixed again. So you'll see here that the chocolate has actually coloured the mixture a really nice dark brown colour. What you might want to do is just with a spatula, just run around the edges of the mixture just to ensure that the bits on the side are fully mixed in as well. Now the final stage is we're going to add in some self-raising flour. Just sprinkle that in and just carefully just mix in the flour. We don't want to stir too much because it's going to knock out all the lovely air bubbles that we've just created by mixing the egg. Once all the flour is fully incorporated, we're then going to take our baking tin and just gently pour in the mixture. And then what I like to do is just give it a quick drop on the surface and that will just bring all the air bubbles to the top to help them pop so that you don't get them all rising up at different angles when it bakes in the oven. Your brownie is now ready to go into the oven so you want to bake it for about 30 to 35 minutes until it forms a paper-like crust on the top. Don't worry if when you pull it out it seems like it's not quite set. It will continue to cook afterwards and that's what gives the brownie the really nice gooey texture inside that you'll be looking for. So I'm going to put that in the oven now. So the brownie's now come out of the oven. It's been put on a wire rack to cool down and bring the temperature down. This is the perfect time to then cut into slices to serve for everyone. This size cake tin will probably make about 12 slices depending on how generous you are, of course. So what you want to do is just evenly cut out about four rows across and just guide your knife along 
to slice the brownie. It will have firmed up by this point, which makes it a lot easier to cut. And then just cut the same amount across this way. This will just give the perfect portion size. And there you have it, delicious chocolate brownie. <laughs>